I don't care. How do we fix this? Because you got, it's going to get fucking killed is what's going to happen. And so are you for driving like this. What the fuck do we do? I have fucking no idea. Well, at least he's in the park. Bruce, it looks like we've got it kind of corralled into the backyard, hopefully. Or in that backyard. <laughs> you know how to wrangle a cow? Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, he's going right through those bushes. No. Son of a bitch. I don't know. Dispatch, can you uh, repeat the address they put up? This thing's cornered. Extra good. He started. He started with the heavy. Three and a half. Which street are we on? Mm, I don't know. Do you want to go find the idiots with the truck and see if they can come get their god? No, it's 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 a bunch of jag off kids. Oh really? That had it. Yeah, it was a senior prank gone wrong. Ooh, what school? Kaiser. Oh, 
college prep. Notre Dame? No. The uh, Northridge? Northridge. Watch yourself, because it's okay. backed into a corner and it's breathing very heavy, so. Nothing. I I called Sarge. I was like, I'm a city boy. You got any, uh, I want to strangle these. Mm. You guys have a kitchen? No. They're probably all over the place right now. It's not day shift's problem. I'm just standing by until uh, day shift figures out what the Come in here. here. No. Hi, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Are those those stupid kids? I heard doors yeah, I mean, close. What, what are we going to do? They have like a thing to wrangle them. This is just do my... they? Yeah. You saw it? Yeah, they were running around with it on Ballard. And I'm like, where the f*** is it? I don't know. It's, uh, it's... Okay. You guys couldn't just f*** home with the cow? the cop cars. Sorry. Where's the thing? To, where are we it's supposed coming, to do to latch coming. onto it? It's, it's coming. coming. I feel like all these 18-year-olds need a disorderly conduct ticket. That's what I think. Now you got three cops after we told you guys to go home. And this is the bull you got to deal with because y'all thought this was a funny prank? What if that thing would have got hit on the goddamn road? Whose cow is it? It's not so funny anymore, is it, right? Action has consequences and you're all 18. So maybe I should take you all in, fingerprint every single one of you, and you all start your fucking college off with a goddamn record. Yeah. How about that? So where is the person that's going to get this goddamn cow out of here? Uh, the trailer is on its way, and we have the last one to So it's coming. From where? From uh, right next to the, the parking lot of Ice House. God, I'm so fucking irritated right now. <laughs> Lieutenant, here's tears. 8,000 Our complainant is waiting Oh, and we're back off. No, how about let's not piss it off, because I'm not f***ing explaining to your god parents why somebody f***ing died today. And just remember, everything that's broken over there is coming out of one of your guys' pocket, because this is somebody's f***ing house. This isn't a god farm. So nobody knows how to actually deal with this, correct? Because now you're pissing off an animal, and now it's causing property damage. So we're going to have to probably get Cook County out here to put it down so it doesn't kill somebody. All this over a f***ing prank, guys. Where did we get the cow from? Wisconsin. Huh? Wisconsin. So we don't even have somebody that can handle the car, car, cow appropriately. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out, we have this thing, uh, all these idiots that uh, took this cow from Wisconsin, don't know how to handle with it, now it's cornered and it's getting really pissed off, so I'm trying to figure out what our best move is before it attacks somebody. It is, but the issue is that it's in somebody's backyard and it's uh, stuck literally between a rock and a hard place, there's a fence, uh, a little shed and an evergreen and the thing's aggravated it's breathing heavy and it's already charged at somebody once so officer what uh if it came down to it are we able just to put it down before it ends up hurting anyone else or doing any more property damage would that be a viable option <laughs> so you want me to kill something to stop property damage no no man make that make any, sense any type of like hurting someone else and how am i supposed to know that I mean, uh, I guess... I'm not a farmer. I don't deal with wild animals. I understand that. So, so again, now I'm liable when I pull my firearm out to protect somebody else's Like, You see the pickle that you put me in? I see. I'm very sorry about this, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because this could be all over the news. I f***ing guarantee it will be. And I'll probably get fired for f***ing swearing so much, but I'm so irritated with how f***ing stupid you guys are when I told you to go the f*** home. But no, I don't remember who said it, but somebody said, well, we're in this deep. Well, congratulations. Here you go. I hope the village of Niles 
charges you the overtime for me and him and everybody else that's going to come out here and deal with the situation on top of fixing their backyard, their shed, whatever they have on the side of the shed. Hell, you should probably get charged for public works cleaning up all the shit up and down Greenwood. You guys think that this is a big fucking game. It's a lot of money you're costing the town all over a stupid prank. And I guarantee you, if I arrest all of you, which I will gladly do because that's how irritated I am right now, you're not getting into college with your disorderly conducts. Actions have consequences, gentlemen. We're not 16 anymore. I thought we would have learned by how nice we were telling you at 3 a.m. to go home. But of course, you guys had to show us how big and bad you are, how good you are, how much you had this so planned out. What if that thing would have got hit? What if somebody else got hit? Where is it? Can you see it from here? No, it's back there. And if we can keep it back there, let's not even go over there. Right it's now. in the other yard? No, it's in this yard. This Big yard's completely fenced in. Okay. In that corner. Okay. So it's wedged back there. You can see it. But, all right. I just talked to the, somebody from the farm. They said, leave it alone. We'll leave it right where it's at. It's not bothering anybody. It's not hurting anything. And they'll come and get it. But we're not going to play cowboy right here. Okay. Start talking to you. Yeah, 90 minutes. Ooh. Is it really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, hopefully it stays back there. Can't Last imagine. Last time I was back there for like three minutes, and then I got where did, out. Where did it come out from? Me and it came out the side. You see where the shovel is with the red handle in the yeah. bushes on yeah. the left side? It came out that way. So that's the way it gave, went in, too. But then you guys had put the chair there to kind of stop it? Well, no, it ran through the chair. Oh. We put it over there. We're just kind of piling stuff behind it. All right. I mean, I know it came in that trailer. So, and so this no, was originally a school prank. Right, I get it, yeah. And we thought that we handled it. Right. That these motherfuckers were going home. Right. But clearly that didn't happen. So they came after? So they, yeah, after we handled that, they left. And then they came back, obviously, right. and we got a call up. There's a loose cow. All right. So they said if it's calm, it'll generally stay calm. And we'll leave it right where it's at. Okay. Uh, so. Well, hopefully it stays calm back there. If it is calm. Because before it was jammed back there, it was freaking the fuck out. Well, now it may be resigned to its fate. Like, this is my life now. I'm stuck. <laughs> so. Well, we're not going to do anything to agitate it. If there's fences on both sides and it's kind of behind that barn. Yeah. So I'll just step back out of here. We've talked to these people. They know what's going on in their backyard. I've tried knocking it out. They're either dust or not home. Yeah. This is not how I wanted to start my day. Well, I want to end it. No. Later beginning, a call from a Wisconsin farm claiming that this is stolen, right? No, sir. Not at all. No. So whose is this? What? Old class fishing Okay. What was the plan afterwards? Well, we're going to give it to someone with a farm. Oh, they got a hold of somebody at Wagner Farm. They're sending somebody who will come and collect it. But it's going to be 90 minutes. 90 minutes? They're like, if it's contained and calm, just leave it alone, yeah. stay away from it, and please don't put it down. Like, I, like, I really don't so, it down what enforcement action are we taking on this? Are we just going to chalk this up to kids being stupid at 18 and call it a night? It's, it's, it's behind a little shed back there. Um, so... How many people, I mean, they're saying that everybody's in the entire class, 
came um, together to uh, yeah but buy these this. are all the people that are here so yeah I got four plus five six seven eight nine ten people are here it certainly kind of sounds appropriate for all ten of them yeah just the village POs yeah I prefer to arrest all of them and give them all a criminal record for the they put me through today I understand this was a definite group effort, and I don't really think they're all turning over to Rico, I mean, was already a roll call looking. I think he's going to call yeah. the dean. He's starting to get involved. So trying to yeah. Call yeah. Well, I have the list of everybody else that was there on my original report. Yeah. Granted, they're not here for this. I just want to shoot the thing. What? Go home. I just want to shoot it and go home. You can go home. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm racking it up now. He's got the leaves. He's involved. Yeah, can you even see it? Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. You have to go into the backyard to see it. Huh? So, Sarge so is here. Do, do the ten that are here, or how? Yeah. I don't feel it's fair just to punish the ten people that are here, right. but obviously if they're not here, we can't really tie them to it other than the first. What we might do is just document the ten that are here and, like, really do the investigation. Because according to them, everybody is. Money well, that's what they said, but like I said, it pisses me off that I told all of them to go home and they basically said, F you, we're still doing this, we're investing. Yeah. After having all the 17 year olds get curfew tickets. Why are the kids here? Because they let it out. So now they're trying to fix their mistake before school starts. So they're not even going to get there and go, surprise, there's a chicken in your room because we're too busy chasing a cow through the village of Niles. <laughs> oh, what time does school start? I should have Regal write them all for truancy on top of it. I'll just really get this train going. Excuse me, it's moving. Oh, well, what would you like us to do? Run. We know just as much as you do about wild animals. The one kid asked, can you shoot them? Like, <laughs> Unbelievable! These kids just, just, they just, they just don't, they just don't get it. And these people still have an answer, huh? I don't think they're home. I've bro. knocked on the front door, I've knocked on the back door. Oh, and... these people aren't even here. The home alarm? I don't think so. Thank you very much. So, I, we, we've got a cow that was sure. intended to be part of a prank. Yeah. Uh, they were given the opportunity to take their cow home without letting it out, but they said they let it out. Yeah. So then it wandered down the street all the way from, I don't know if you know where North Ridge Prep is, but Ballard okay. and uh, Cumberland, basically. <laughs> it went uh, west to Greenwood, south on Greenwood, through the park over here, and then south down here, and now it's oh behind this. Uh, Okay. Not too happy. Yeah, it, it was uh, actually kind of, you know. Also the cow. The cow. Yeah. Well, definitely so you and your partner. Freaking <laughs> ain't you. Feel kind of put in place. Yeah, you, 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 you get it. You don't know how long we were dealing with. Yeah, I mean. From like one to four. Well, let's go. I mean, have a look at the cow. Okay. And uh, see what we're going to have. I don't think it's a bull. That's a good one. Yeah. I know. See if I can get close to it without it getting it running out. What yeah. Do, what do you need from us? What do you need from us? Yeah. Um, I mean, if it's hopefully not, then if it starts to go forward, I mean, I we just don't want it to get loose. I know. You know? Yeah. That's um, well. If we could just keep it in the yard here, would be that, good. that would be ideal. So, how do you want us to do that? <laughs> 
you know, they're not difficult. They just, uh, well, it's, I, I'm sure it's under some distress. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Let me, let me see uh, how close we get here. Apple 43. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a fence on the other side there. It's a chain link. Nine from one forty. So southbound, uh,
westbound on Greenville. Greendale from Cumberland. Yeah, turn it on, but it's like two four. behind like uh, 1220. It's back in this area somewhere. Niles is out here. I'm with him. Let's see if we can find it. It went that way. It's going back eastbound towards Cumberland. Uh, over by like. I'm going to try and go back to my car. Yeah. It's not a usual call. When uh, I entered work, I was about to work out, and the sergeant right there, he says, uh, get your cowboy hat on. We had a cow to catch, and I chuckled, and then I left, and then. Later yeah. was told that no, no, he was serious. Uh 
-huh. get to work, you know? They did have access to the school. Um, is there any... Hold on one. This is Kevin Regal right now, our police officer, and he's... Yeah, the, the news stations are all at Northridge Prep Senior Prank. is going to be all over. All right. All right, Kevin. Um, all right, so, so we have a, a, a type of a farm company that's out here trying to help us with the cow. If, I mean, do you want me to tell him that there's a pig also that could be, uh, like, that he could take or no? Uh, let, let me, let me, let me investigate this and, and I'll call you right And then, back. and then no. just let, one more thing too. If you want, once we're done investigating, just think about it. Talk to Neil as far as trespassing or any type of, um, uh, if you want us to push any type of citation to, you know, yeah, to I, some of the kids, I, just I, let I, me know. That's something for you to think about though. All right. You hear me, Emmett? Yeah, I can hear. You. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll let you go. Bye. I got nothing for you, my man. Have they found it? I mean, they're still, you know. Everybody is getting four tickets. Okay. Now. These four tickets are mandatory court appearance. However, your saving grace is that once again, I'm a nice guy and I wrote these on ordinance tickets so it doesn't fuck up your whole life. Because a disorderly conduct charge is a misdemeanor, okay? We could have went after you for animal cruelty because that animal was not being treated appropriately. But instead, you're getting charged with disorderly conduct. You're getting charged with having a species of animal that is not allowed in the village of Niles, a nuisance animal not cleaning up after said protected species of animal and you're getting uh yep that's it and your disorderly conduct tickets okay so like i said you're gonna have to go to the niles police department and you're gonna have to ask for a court date okay do that sooner than later so that you can all get on the same court key you can all go in front of the our village attorney i need four signatures from you okay you will get a copy of all of these well actually make sure that's you because I got both yours in my hand. Yep. So just sign across them. It's not an admission to guilt. It's just saying that I've informed you that you need to go to the Niles Police Station and get you a court date. I get it. Prank gone wrong. It happens, but, you know, just use this as a learning moment. And like I said, you're getting off easy with it not going on your permanent record. So let's just use that as the silver lining in all of this, okay? How's mom getting to work if it's f***ing... Almost 8 o'clock and you're here. I'm just kidding. Stay out of trouble, guys, okay? Thank you so much. All right. I just want to let you know this. I was young once, too. You're going to college. College campus police still can go on your permanent record. I'm not saying you're bad kids. There's a bad prank gone wrong. It happens. I just want you to look at the bigger picture now. You're not 16, 17 where the just magically disappears. You get screwed up at college. That's on you guys, okay? So, all your driver's license are in here as well. I got one pen, if you can just sign one of the set of copies there. You guys are all 18, you're adults. You make grown man decisions now. So, you know, I was hoping that, I don't know who said it, and I don't take this personal, but I literally told somebody who was carrying the chicken coop right in front of me, I'm like, really, you guys are still gonna do this after you guys got caught doing what you're doing? And they said, we're in too deep. Okay, well, here we are. So again, there's it, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and beat you guys up about it, okay? So, but no, you guys are 18. And don't call them mommy and daddy. I mean, you can't tell them, but I'm not going to because you have a court date to go to. If you don't go to that court date, you get in trouble. You get a warrant for your arrest, not mommy and daddy anymore because they're no longer responsible for you. They might take care of you, but technically by law once you're 18 that's why you guys didn't get citations the first time like everybody else that was with you because everyone who was under 17 or under 18 they all got written for curfew they can't be out so all right guys Thank you, so just keep your heads on straight take this in stride man it's a learning experience but let's just uh look forward from here okay um and to your point if you really are interested later on today if you want to call the police department and tell them that you were the owner of the cow. I'm sure they'll know exactly who you are and, and you could probably I, talk I to somebody that, that way. Well, e either way, if you're that interested, I'm sure they'll have more information 
then about it because like I said they're still trying to wrangle it up okay. so but you guys are huh I don't know they're still trying to chase it so I don't know where it ran off to and, and everything else so um, but are there other potential charges that we could get I mean could you be held criminally liable for the damages and have to fix them yes obviously um, but other than that no, I think you guys are, you know, pretty much all right. I don't want to say good, but um, yes, there's a chance that more things could come of this depending on if it runs out and damages somebody's car in the middle of the street and they hit it, then you guys are going to have to figure that one out too because it's because of something you guys created. Okay? So let's hope that uh, this gentleman is able to get his stuff. Wait, who's that? Huh? Wait, who's that? Who's who? I still have like four more handfuls of tickets I gotta hand out. Oh my god. Cool. Do you know their name? Do you know their names or? Everybody that was here is getting them. I'm just wondering if he wanted to um, take custody of a pig? Yeah, or? after the, the this. And then I said to, to the Northridge prep dean, I said if you want charges, more charges as far as criminal trespass, um, uh, we can do that as well. They're still investigating, so they'll probably look at, uh, they got to look at cameras still. I sent them all the names because of the fob. Obviously, right. that's a massive issue if keys, right. if like keys are, some... yeah, so I sent them all the names as far as the students that we've encountered in right. the past six hours, but so far, that's what we got. So we still don't know who, which teacher gave up the fob. Apparently, that might be a story. Uh, they could have taken a fob. Um, they could have accessed uh, uh, an area where they keep an extra fob in the front. Um, but they're going to be able to trace the fob number right. um, as far as who scanned in and hopefully be able to do that. So, where's, uh, where's this it's guy taking a nap? What's that? Where's this guy taking a nap? The, it's kind of in the tree. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, he's got a little bit of patch of white. It's been a long day. That's a lot of steps from Bruce. Today. It is. Let's see how many I've got. Dude. The guy walked all the way from Bruce. He's like, I don't know where you guys were at. I gave him my work cell, just so you know, right. just in case we get a... 2253 so far today. <laughs> it's not that many, really. But I drove to all the way back there, and then we chased him. Yeah. Or actually, he ran, and we followed, not really chased. Um, I thought you were joking this morning. I honestly thought you were joking. I, I, we laughed, and then I just went to my workout. No, I wasn't joking. I wish I were. I'm going to cancel a presentation I got going on just because Northridge is involved, but this is, uh, you don't get many. I honestly, I appreciate how cooperative you've been. I know it's a situation to be in, but you know, again, same thing. You guys are taking it on the chin the best that you can. So, like I said, just make the best of the worst situation. And wait, do do we know when he's coming to get this thing? Or uh, I believe that the owner of the vehicle is still, still helping to chase the cow. So I don't know if they're planning on trying to capture it and bring that over the Okay. All right. That would be my best guess. No worries. I just didn't know if you if he was in a car or something hanging out. But is it in like? Is it like no, it's it's fine. We're just trying to clear out. You know, so it's just not sitting there all day. And no, what's up, man? Be smart about what you guys do in college, okay? Actions have consequences now that we're adults. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for being cool, guys. I appreciate your cooperation. So. To recap, Northridge is going to investigate the key fob. You guys are going to do your own internal disciplinary measures for any students that may be involved. That was the students that were given. I, I gave the students uh, names to Emmett. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. we were just looking at the names. She's Perfect. Got... Okay, as far as involvement goes, so this is a yearly thing, right? Was that stable put up by the administration or was that something that was no. put up? No. Okay, everything so that, is on there. So everything with the seniors and the involvement with the administration, I wouldn't say involvement, but the awareness mm -hmm. that was something that was agreed upon. Is that correct? Um, uh, like I said, permission. Okay, so yeah. permission to, and obviously everything might have been downplayed, right? That there was a cow or a calf that was supposed to be in the front, right? right. Not in the schools, Correct. but there was awareness from the administration um, or notification that this would happen and there was no... 
I mean, it was an administration. It was one it faculty. Was a faculty member. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that was that pushed to you guys or pushed to you, Neil? Was it pushed to me? Or was it was the it was the final it? plan was not, but I trusted. Okay. The guys. All right. So that faculty member, yeah. uh, there was a, a, a staff member that Correct. was aware of Correct. the plans right. um, agreed upon, right. and the cow obviously getting loose was not part of it. Correct. That's basically all I need to know. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to be. And the size of the cow yeah. was not agreed. It was not agreed. Correct. Okay, so that was that and, staff and member. So, and from what I gather, there was a last minute switch when they picked up the cow. Like what the they were going to get themselves yeah. were was like not what they actually yeah. got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's no other animals in the school besides the pig. Correct. There's some. There's some pigeons, pigeons or something. Like that. Okay, so pigeons, pigeons, a pig. You guys. Are able to handle? Correct. Yep. Okay, so there, you guys don't need any of our services. Um, and then as far as uh, that uh, that that uh, staff member, mm -hmm. do you mind giving the name to that staff member? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's me. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, listen, I'm just going to take down information, right? I don't know what how big this thing is going to get, right? Um, but we do have to do the follow-up media release, and, you know, that's, that's what we're going to do. So do you have a driver's license by chance? I do. Okay. Kevin, the police officers from Park Ridge. Yeah, so they may be reaching out, and this is the reason. You know, what kind of injury? Uh, foot injury. Did you get a cop stepped on his foot? Yeah, yeah. So Did he have to be taken away in an ambulance? Thank you. Um, was she taken away in an ambulance? She was she? Okay. just checked on. I, I don't think it's she nothing. Been discharged from the hospital? I don't have an uh, update on that okay. as far as that goes, but. Um, yeah, she was taken there just to make sure. I don't think she's going back to work today, um, but she was trying to wrestle or corral. Um, uh, still in seminary? Yeah. Perfect. And then best phone number for you. Is your key fob? No. Okay. All right. So was yeah, that? Do, uh, uh, who, who's the key no fob? idea. Okay. So you guys will still investigate we'll take, that. Yeah, we'll take okay. Care. okay. All right. The, well, the the reality is they gave me very little information. Okay. So very little information agreed upon for a calf to be in the front. Was there any agreements nothing. to have anything inside the school? No. They were told specifically nothing inside the school. Okay. All right. So they were told uh, just outside for a small little... A baby calf. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so that was agreed upon outside, right? They and told then... me they had already purchased a calf and with their hand motion said this big. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as um, <clears throat> anything else, any keys, fobs, anything like that, that was never given to any of the students no. uh, for access, no. to your knowledge. No. So you'll be able, your IT will probably be able to see yes. which fob. Please deactivate that in the meantime uh, so you don't have any follow-up um, uh, blowback. And then uh, you guys obviously will be able to access your cameras yes. um, if you guys yeah. have any. I think I'm inside that already. Perfect. Get out. All right. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, news, things like that. I told... I, I don't know if it might be the best. I don't know if it would be a good idea. They're going to be here. They're just going to shoot that. They're going to get that pen. Yeah, they'll get the pen. But as far as an on-camera interview, they may no. be asking you questions. Yeah. I, I would avoid. It's yeah. just my personal experience. Uh, if you want to give something out to the parents, mm -hmm. right, as an administration, I've seen that happen where um, just get, get in front of it. Mm -hmm. um, if they see their school, especially if they're like a sophomore or junior, mm -hmm. they don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why, you know. You guys are cooperating with us. We're cooperating with you. Um, we're just trying to get that cow in, uh, uh, in the back of that trailer. Um, but besides that, you know, that's, that's yeah, pretty so, much yeah, okay. no, we're going to go from there. Um, you guys have my number. Give me a call. And for me, just. I'm just, I'm just going to be documenting as far as what you said, that it was agreed upon um, to have a small playpen outside. I took a picture of it, right? There was never agreements uh, for any animals to be inside, or obviously a larger cow. And I will put that it was agreed upon for a calf to be outside in that, that little playpen, um, a calf size, you know. Like two foot dimension. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, honestly, it's just more formality um, as far as uh, uh, that So goes. I'm, I'm uh, I shouldn't be expecting citations. <laughs> I, I, I can't say. I'm okay, not leading this investigation. Sure. Um, I'm more of the liaison for you guys got to it. kind of give you updates as far as our me media releases. And, Sounds good. Um, uh, but, you know, we weren't planning for an officer to get injured. Right. Um, now that of is Park not. Ridge. Yeah. Um, so. Is there anything we should do about that, Kevin? Should we reach out to the school? Be I think they'll be reaching out to us, and then they may be giving you guys a call, or it could just be a uh, just something they're, they're going to handle internally, and you guys may not receive a call from Park Ridge. Okay. So, you know, that's something that you may not get anything from. But I would advise against yep. 
doing it. You already let her know, yeah, we're not going to go. Because they, they've asked me, they've asked officers, it's just not something, unless you have something prepared, a documentation prepared, it's not something I would go Perfect. into. Perfect. Um, any other questions? Yeah, uh, Kevin, so uh, are they, if they show up here and they start interviewing our students, should we be trying to manage our students not getting... Yeah, I honestly, I know this might be a day where yeah. you could have students outside. Yeah. I would keep everybody inside, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Until you know that the media release. Are they allowed on our property? That's again, I mean, this is private, you, you this is private property. You told them they can take a picture of the time. Outside? Yeah. yeah. But not. I told them they cannot come inside. They cannot come inside. Okay. So you property. dictate who is allowed on your property. So right? I'm going to go out there. Um, and kind of determine if uh, you want yeah. them. I mean, that's the only, I, I think I, it's fine if they take a picture of the hand that gives context. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, no, it does, right? right. Uh, and, and that's, I, I totally see your head uh, on that. Um, yeah. Mike, good to go off. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. But interview with students, I yeah. would Yeah, I agree. Definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any other questions you guys have? No, sorry about this. Yeah, I'm real sorry. Yeah. Honestly, it's not a call you get every day, so I really wanted to jump on it. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know. I thought I honestly thought it was a milk cow. I haven't seen a cow in you know, ten years, but it's a big boy. It's a big, yeah. big yeah. cow. Yeah, or a big girl, it's whatever you want to say. Yeah, yeah. Big cow. I don't really know the anatomy of cows, but mm -hmm. um, give me a call if you guys have any questions. Yeah, um, no, I, I feel bad for the yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's. Fine. I don't think it was something. She wasn't hit in the chest, as far as my as far as my knowledge. She wasn't something. Wasn't she was ran injury. over. I think they were trying to either push it towards. They just got the cow in custody. That's that's right. So they just got the cow. I just heard from. Thank goodness. <laughs> that's, that's great news. It is. That's it good. is. Um, any uh, any property damage then? I think just animal feces. Okay. I'm gonna go into the yard. They were on uh, Bruce, which is uh, Cumberland. Can we have um, yeah. Yeah. Can we do? Uh, if I make notification, I will ask. Um, we haven't been able to make notification, uh, and right it's, since then it's just been sleeping. Uh, we're happy and, to. Uh, yeah. Here, so. sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly, it's something where um, they just they just got it, which is obviously our main concern that nobody or any vehicles were damaged. That's my work cell, so just in case. Um, um, but they they just got it. So I don't know who purchased the cow. It's not. Hopefully, it's not purchased illegal or anything like that. I don't, I don't think. think so. I don't think so. Right. But it's going to be at that. Uh, the your partner, what is the director of. Uh, the guy that just left with the golf. Joe Egan. Joe Egan, yeah. Joe, Joe has uh, the name of the farm from Glenview okay. that is going to hold on to, hold it. On to it in Glenview I for mean, the time. Our here. thought has been, hey, seniors, this is your decision. you got to own this. you yeah. gotta, you got to make it right, and you got to deal with it. Yeah. So, I, I, so that cow, it's not the school's. So no, that's my right, right, so right, right. Is, exactly. That exactly. is between the farm have, and our seniors. I have no idea. Exactly. Yeah. Did you agree with that? No, I, 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 yeah. I mean it's not, it's not yours, right? Yeah. You guys never throw in money uh, for a cow purchase. Um, not, not this way. <laughs> to eat, maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah. You guys are eating well here. Uh, no, no, uh, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. That, that is something. Like, hey, we're they'll figure out custody, okay, right. and as far as what's going to be dealt with the cow, as far as the pig, I, I'm going to leave that up to you guys because yeah. that's obviously yeah. here. Yeah. Same with pigeons, yeah. but there is issues uh, as far as getting pigeons. We are. You guys knew nothing. You guys did. Yeah, we, we have a teacher who grew up in a farm. Yeah. We got another guy who grew up. I mean, we, we got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll take care of that, Keith Bob. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. That's all I got. All right, man. Any questions? Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. I'll keep you guys updated, yeah. too. Hey, I apologize. It's fine. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, you know, all the commotion, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's not something that, you know. I'm not, not like you guys have a bigger fish to pull. Right? Yeah, you know. Just some, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I mean, I don't even know where to start with that. I don't either. That's why I said you have to <coughs> deal with the cow. Right, yes, exactly. I don't think uh, your guys got all that information from those kids. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, well, there were 10 that were there. It sounds like like more than just those 10 all pulled their money in to buy this cow is what it sounds like, all right. or all these animals. And we ended up actually with a pig and some other farm animals so she in, in, the, yeah, in, in the school. But... One of the, uh, I didn't hear this, but the story as it was relayed to me is that at least one of the kids said that somebody in the administration, a teacher or somebody gave them a fob, is the story they're telling, saying, so that they would have access into the school. So they're going to do their own investigation on that and, and kind of, yeah. <clears throat> so there were, I don't, I don't know how many total were involved, 
I mean, I only know yeah. about the 10, 18 plus year olds that were still there with the cow. You know, like. We really? Right. Are we really standing here dealing I, with this I, right I, now? I know. I know. I, this, this is why I didn't go like west of King County. Right. I didn't want to deal yes. with farm animals. Yes, exactly. This is this. I thought this was safe. I thought this was a safe distance from farm animals. I to be honest, I, I didn't. I didn't uh, do the, the uh, large animal unit. And no, I no. I with the small animals. Right. <laughs> All right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm used to the you know the ankle biting chihuahuas. Right. And the uh, you know every now and then the nuisance pit bull. But yeah. So you know. Right. These, these are these are literally kids that are going to go to Harvard. That's that's the scary part about this. They're going to go out in the world. We put out a our Nixle social media thing. Okay. It says we're assisting Niles police with an animal complaint. There's no immediate you know right problem for the community. So mostly true. Yeah. Yeah. I hate to tell you we're sending all the media. Here. No, no. Yeah, I know. We're going to try to put as well. Okay. We're going to try to push the long fence and they just want to stand in there to kind of like... Okay. Yeah. Be very we'll, we'll push it, but in the chance that it turns around, okay. we, just, we just want to try to keep it in this big courtyard area. Right, so, right. Okay. But hopefully we'll keep it against the fence and it won't even notice it in the shoot until it already is. So. Okay. So, all right, we'll all stand down here. Do we have enough people here now or you need me to call some more? We're probably okay. Okay. Out now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's much more relaxed than it had been. So many needs to stand here. Take this rattle paddle. <clears throat> so tries to pull this way, just shake that thing. Okay. This will be the first time where she's up. Do you want to be the rattle paddle person? I can. All right, thank you. further down the cow line, as it were. Outstanding. Smarter than I was. I started I heading towards it. Out of here! That thing's gonna run me over. <laughs> well, it already ran at me once. Yeah. I guess. All right. Is everybody smokes. okay? I, 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 all of us are okay. I think the cow's okay. They actually put a ring in its nose. I saw that. No, they slipped that in there. Well, not slipped, but right. clamped. 
All right. All right. Thank let's, you. Let's, we'll, do, we'll, let, we'll, let's we'll, do this. Let's get yeah. coffee. Yes. Let's get our act together, yes. and then I'll call you here in a little while. Okay. That sounds good. I got good. enough. Yeah, aggravation I, by me to go through. Yeah, me too. About an hour and a half to two hours, I'll reach out to you. Okay, I'm here till six. So. All, right, All right, all right. Thank, Thank you guys. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Everybody's okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. So this is a career story. Yeah, this doesn't happen every day. Thank God. This is like. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that that was that was amazing. That's why I bring the big guys with me. Holy smokes! I didn't know you could tackle a cow. Yeah, I cow didn't either. Dog. It's a thing. Yeah, it's not fun now. When you catch your breath. but obviously we'll have to get your information yeah, yeah. They didn't already. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Well, you know, we don't want to see them hurt. No, no. No. My suggestion is we take this back to our farm okay. from the circus. Yes, please. And then we can uh, discuss before how we to, take how it to... off the trailer. We can discuss what we're going to okay. do. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. If you've got your ID, I'll just take a photo. Yep. Of it. You bet. That'll be the easiest. And your your partner. Thank you. It's nice to offer, though. Appreciate it. All right, thanks, Sarge. I'll be in touch in a little yes, thank, thank you, guys. Appreciate your help. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. make sure I can see it. Hey, Blake. He you needs your... Uh, Cattle Wrangling ID? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's just send me an invoice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, we're going to well, get it out of here. Yeah. And we're going to talk about what we're going to do. Okay. So. All right, I'm going to use, uh, yeah. for both of you, I'm going to use the Wagner Farm address. That'd be perfect. Not, not your personal address. Um, but we have to put your name and date of birth and all that good stuff. Yeah. That, that you came and assisted, and boy, was it an assist. Yeah. I mean. Uh, that's the most impressive thing assist, I've seen. Assist, yeah, is, uh, <laughs> right? I'm going to owe Blake some donuts when we get yeah. back to the yeah. at, at least, at least. Well, it's got a cow in a headlock, you know, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, um, most. Yeah. Yeah. Call, um, yeah. Who do, who, who do we talk to? That'd be me, yes, I'll, certainly. Okay. I, I'll be talking to somebody else. Yeah. Okay. A little beat up on itself. That's okay. There, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, both of you. Oh, we'll get her some water. Yes. Yeah, she's, I'm sure that she's looking that. for some rest. Yeah. yeah. And use some rest too. Yeah. All right, thank you. So, do we know what the status of the, the other animals are? Oh, we don't. Did they deal with Was Wagner involved with it? No, those? they weren't. Yeah, I know. Give us 30 seconds before you go off. I mean, I have, I have chicken. For sure, I could have the chicken recipe for chickens, right. but the pig. I don't have a good pig either. Oh, it's really good. I mean, so we got this up. Yeah, so I can hear. Uh, I don't know where more to 
do I need anybody's name or can I just say so and so? While on the scene at this, uh, Wa Wagner, you said I thought you I've said something it. about putting that guy's name in there. I've got it. Okay, I've got it. So, so I'll just I'll put the, uh, the guy from Wagner. I'll, I'll give you his name. Okay, all right. Actually, I'll text it to you. 